July 9. Never forsaken. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. In 1970, an Arizona lawyer named Russell T. Tanzi filed a $100,000 damage suit against God. This suit was filled on behalf of Mr. Tansy's secretary, Betty Penrose, who accused God of negligence in his power over the weather when he allowed a lightning bolt to strike her home. The woman won the case when the defendant failed to appear in court. I wonder if she ever collected. When trials come or disaster strikes, it's easy to feel as if God is being negligent. When something we can't explain happens, we believe God has let us down. But the Bible makes it very clear that this is not true. God told Joshua that he would never leave nor forsake him. Actually, in the Hebrew language, the negative comes first and makes the thought very stronger. Not will I leave you and not will I forsake you. The order of these words emphasizes the fact that no matter how difficult Joshua's circumstances might become, God would not leave and he would not forsake. He was committed to Joshua as he had been to Moses. Could you use the same kind of commitment from God today? You have it. Read Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. God's presence doesn't mean that things will always go smoothly. Christians don't walk around with protective plastic bubbles surrounding them. We experience cancer, we endure sorrow and heartache, we fail in business. God's promise, however, is that He will continue to walk with us and be faithful to us even in our sorrows or failures. His company will bring you comfort that will exceed your understanding. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 Be assured that as God was with Moses and Joshua, he is with you as well. Jesus promised, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 Whatever difficulties you face, you will not have to face them alone. He will never, no, never, fail you nor forsake you. That's his promise to you. Only God can say never and really mean it. Amen.